the sales clerk bought me the right reed, I might be a saxophone player. Then again, I might not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't play sax, man. I just like having sax on the beach. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I play keys. We got a real special cocktail for you today. Uh, filled with sax appeal. My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. There are many stories on the origin of how this fruity drink came about. One dates back to the autumn of 1987 in Florida, where a new product, peach schnapps, hit the scene. With spring only six months away and many tourists arriving for their spring break holiday, there was a need to promote this new peach liqueur. Well, they had a contest between the bars in the area of who could sell the most peach schnapps. The prize was $1,000. That's what the bar would receive and the bartender responsible for creating a new cocktail using peach schnapps and also having the highest sales would receive a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? That just doesn't seem right. I mean you wouldn't even have a promotion in the bars on this product if it wasn't for the bartenders out there creating a new drink. At best the prize money, I think, should have been split down the middle between the bar and the bartender. That, that seems just. Anyway, it was a bartender simply known as Ted at the confetti bar that won hands down. And when asked what he called his creation, Ted listed the two reasons he thought people came to Florida for spring break, the beach and sex. <laughs> sex on the beach. So this fruity libation now, well, it started a craze. You see, thousands of people would return home after spring break and ask their local bartender for sex on the beach. I remember the first time a pretty young girl came up to me at the bar and asked me for sex on the beach. And I said, well, sure, baby, I get off in a couple hours. But no, she said, I just want the drink. Not knowing how to make a drink I'd never heard of before, I asked around and nobody knew what the hell went into this cocktail, so I concocted something. I don't remember what it was, but she enjoyed it and I never did get sex on the beach that night. <laughs> This is why there are a lot of variations on this drink. All those young kids coming back from spring break ordering a cocktail they had in Florida with bartenders in their hometown not having a recipe on how to make such a drink. So let's get down to it. Let's make some sex on the beach, baby. <laughs> First thing we want to do is uh, fill our glass uh, full of ice. Vodka, ounce and a half. Peach schnapps, peach schnapps. Love it or hate it. It's an inexpensive, heavily sweetened liqueur. What more can I say? It sucks. Not my favorite, only a half an ounce. You use a little more if you like it a little sweeter. I've got one and a half ounces of orange juice, and I've got one and a half ounces of uh, cranberry juice. Mm. Pop a lid on and make it sexy, baby. Okay, that's all you need. Now we need to select a glass. Oi, oi, oi. Huh, how about this guy? He looks kind of fun, yeah. We want to fill him with uh, fresh ice. Okay, then we just strain this out into our glass. And you know, because, well, bartenders back then, they didn't know uh, what went into this drink. They certainly didn't know what kind of glass to use. So uh, you can use any glass. <laughs> just uh, make it sexy, baby. 
And all we want to do now is garnish it. Now I've made a little, uh, little orange cherry flag here. I'm going to drop that right into our drink and a little straw and give it a taste. Oh, sex on the beach. Sex on the beach is generally made with vodka, peach schnapps, orange juice, and cranberry juice. That's your basic sex on the beach. Other variations are made with vodka, chambor, midori, lemon juice, pineapple juice sometimes, and even simple syrup. Sometimes sex on the beach is served as a shooter. We got grenadine, peach schnapps, and vodka. <laughs> well, let's try this thing. Mmm. That's got a good little kit. No, 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 baby. I gotta wait at least 15 minutes. Uh, pineapple juice can be replaced by the orange juice, and I've even seen coconut rum replacing the vodka, and grenadine replacing the cranberry juice. And then there's amaretto. It's sometimes added for extra flavor. Some variations have their own names, like sex on fire. This is where fireball cinnamon whiskey replaces vodka. And the alcohol-free version is referred to as safe sex on the beach. Yeah, not my kind of drink, but it is refreshing, fruity, alive, and I think we're going to add a little, little chambord floated on top. Oh, yeah. There we go. Maybe a half ounce or so, a little more. Oh, yeah. That totally changes it. Hey, where was the craziest place you ever had sex? I never did have it on, on the beach, but <clears throat> gravel road. <laughs> so remember, when you're having sex on the beach, <laughs> bring a big blanket. Otherwise, you get sand up your ass. <laughs>